Our operators go through an extensive amount of classroom training from not only our rules through our rule book and SOPs, but we also uh, go through the federal guidelines uh, so that we prepare our operators to know what to expect. Uh, we also keep them uh, with several hours behind the stick, what we call stick training, which is roughly about 100, 120 hours of stick training through not only the Bricktown Loop, but also Downtown Loop combined. So we, uh, we try to give them a well-rounded experience for not only morning, what would they would see in the morning, midday, as well as in the evening. When we train them, we're, we're actually teaching them how the car will respond from throttling up to braking so that the uh, comfort of the ride for the passengers is, is an enjoyable experience. You know, just like operating an automobile, a uh, streetcar, you know, you can learn to operate the streetcar. Some of the intangibles are being able to communicate. Uh, as operators, we like to tell them they're ambassadors for the city. And uh, being an ambassador, you need to be well-rounded in the community so we can help out those guests that are visiting us uh, or some of our local uh, community. One of the things that they have to go through is defensive driving, right? I mean, it's you're always looking out for things going on around you. It's you're ne you're never, you know, just driving off the the edge of the nose of the streetcar. You're always looking, you know, miles down the road, off to the sides. You're watching people that are, you know, crossing the tracks in front of you, you know, way down the the road from you. You're always you're always in a defensive mode. And one of the things they they train them to do is, you know, uh, to watch for out of state license plates, those types of things, because you know, people aren't used to being around streetcars. It's and and for Oklahoma City uh, uh, drivers, they're not used to being around streetcars. So everything is super cautious right now. Uh, we you know we're seeing people uh, automobiles that will go around the streetcar and turn right in front of it, and it's just not being familiar with the streetcar. And so we're we're being super cautious to to watch out for those things. All along the streetcar route, all the parallel parking, it's. Uh, it's, it's shown with a, a solid white line. So as long as you're parked on the other side of that white line, no issues, we'll be able to clear it through there, no problem. Uh, if your mirror is hanging over the white line, you know, there's a potential to be towed. Uh, obviously that's not the first step. The first step is to try to find the person that owns the vehicle to allow them an opportunity to, uh, to get out of the way or move their mirror, fold their mirror in, scoot their car over, whatever it takes. But uh, you know, we, we, we don't want 104 people on the streetcar sitting still because we can't get past a mirror. Our opinion of what makes a good driver is someone that's uh, enthusiastic, you know, uh, excited about the city, uh, always has uh, a smile on their face, welcoming to, to people, uh, not afraid to wave at people that are hanging out on the platforms, waiting for the streetcar to arrive, those types of things. It's just inviting to, to uh, riders.